What is up everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another episode of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. My name is Miles Rowe and in today's video we'll be having a look at my top 7 weapons to play with in Season 3 Reloaded. Now, it goes without saying guys that some of these weapons have been around since the beginning of the game but have regained a top spot in my list simply because they have been very useful in completing recent challenges. It also goes without saying that they have been extremely efficient in the new Elder Dark Aether which is something that I have been ranking most of the weapons with. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into uh, seeing all these weapons and seeing how uh, they have been performing for myself. Again guys, spoiler alert, there hasn't been uh, any assault rifles or LMGs, so majority have been SMGs uh, and uh, hand handguns, so just heads up, it's personal preference, so I hope no one will get offended by not suggesting any of the other weapons. At number 7 guys we have the PDSW, a weapon that has been around since Modern Warfare 2 and a weapon that has kind of worked itself up uh, in the uh, most uh, recent seasons but also a weapon that many of us were using at the very beginning of the game. What I think makes this weapon special is the fact that it has a really quick time to kill um, but as well as a really uh, big uh, magazine capacity. So once packer punched this weapon will give you 400 bullets that you guys can use. Now, of course, if you want to pair this with the Max of Holding, which in my opinion I think um, it's not necessarily uh, needed, you'd end up having about 800 bullets that you guys can play with. Which, of course, for an SMG, uh, it makes uh, all the difference. As well as also the fact that the gun is extremely mobile, so helps you to kind of run and navigate things quicker. So, this is for up for number 7. Loadout is coming up on the screen now. And let's move on for the next one. We have Ram 9, a weapon that has been introduced in Season 2 Reloaded, and a weapon that has been holding a top spot in many uh, weapon reviews. Now, of course, it goes without saying that this is a weapon which is very similar to Ram 7 on a smaller scale. It doesn't have the same damage, but it does have a really quick time to kill, which makes this weapon really special, and I think also paired with the mags of folding, it does add a lot more value to it. What I personally love about it is the mobility you get with it, making um, running in any area with this weapon a breeze. This is also the loadout that I'm running on it and I hope you guys will enjoy it. At number 5 we have Renetti. This had been a weapon that I have been absolutely obsessed with and a weapon that I believe has a really really uh, strong backbone. Now of course being a handgun the mobility of it is absolutely fantastic and the time to kill it's brilliant. Also because it's a conversion kit it really makes this weapon look a bit more like an SMG um, and when paired with the mags of holding it does make this weapon absolutely amazing. Um, it also goes without saying that it's quite easy to to maneuver and once you uh, throw the uh, dead shot as a perk on you just make this weapon easily um, uh, usable even with level to pack a punch so surely on the screen will be my loadout and I hope you guys will enjoy it if you haven't played with it as yet And number four guys, another handgun and these are the WSP Stingers, a weapon that has been quite popular again around season two and a weapon that has been uh, kind of dominating uh, the uh, season three reloaded recently. Now it goes without saying that because it has a really quick time to kill, this weapon does require the max of holding to make the most of it. But it's also a weapon that handles really well the tier three and the Elder Dark Aether so I would strongly recommend this to any sort of new player uh, or anyone that wants to have uh, a really fun run. So it's something that I would probably also suggest to just um, uh, run by yourself, not only within a team, because it's a really fun weapon to play with. The loadout is on the screen now and helps us to move on. 
At number 3 we have FGX Horrocks, a weapon that has been launched in Season 3, uh, reloaded, and a weapon that I personally like playing with quite a bit. Now, what makes this weapon special, again, is the time to kill and the fact that it's extremely mobile when playing with. It also goes without saying that, again, paired with the Max of Holding, this weapon becomes an absolute beast and it would make any tier become super easy. So as you guys can see, we kind of went into the tier 3 as well as the Elder Dark Keeper and this weapon was handling any sort of zombie pretty, pretty well. The rollout will be now on the screen and we'll be moving on towards the last two weapons. Right, so at number two guys, another handgun and this is none the other than the classic TYR, a weapon that has been making probably the top um, of the weapon charts ever since the game has launched and a weapon that is absolutely amazing when paired with the max of holding. Now the reason I've chosen this weapon is because of the damage that deals at the end of the Elder Dark Aether so I think this is the main reason that we went for this. And the number one guys, a weapon that everyone is familiar with, a weapon that has been dominating the charts ever since the game has been launched and that is the crossbow. If previously the Termite uh, arrows were the ones to use, now we have the Semtex arrows which are absolutely brilliant and even pack a punch to level 1, this weapon absolutely destroys the tier 3 area. Now it goes without saying that this is probably a build that you guys will um, have to get used with, it's not say a weapon that you play with straight away and, uh, and uh, you know, be extremely successful with, but after 2 or 3 games you'll be absolutely fine. Now it goes without saying that what makes this weapon even more special, especially in the Elder Dark Aether, it's when you pair it with the Deadwire Detonator. This is when this weapon really shines and having an Elder Dark Aether like the latest one uh, we have seen, it did make this uh, run a lot easier and if you guys haven't seen already, I have made a video of how to navigate this without having any wonder weapons. So it goes without saying that this is the main reason I have gone for the crossbow as being the best uh, weapon right now because it helps you navigate any of the uh, Elder Dark Aethers with ease when paired with the Deadwire Detonator. The loadout is coming on the screen now, but in essence guys, this had been my top 7 weapons. I do hope you guys enjoyed and I do hope you would find this handy, but it goes without saying that thanks so much for watching, thanks so much for your support and see you guys in the next video soon.